What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the QNAP TS453 Mini. Now, this is a NAS device I've reviewed many, many on the channel before, but this one's got a few differentiating features, as we'll see later on in the video. Now, first up, let's just take a quick look around the packaging. Very nice packaging indeed, and quite informative as well. Around on the back, it gives us a whole bunch of information about how the drives are stored, and it also gives us a breakdown of some of the basic features as well that are included with this particular device. Now, if we look at it, it's an attractive unit, glossy black, so it does hold the fingerprints quite badly, but generally, once you've got it in place, you're not going to touch it too much thereafter. Now, on the front, we've got some lights which tell us about network activity, also USB activity, power, and also the drive status as well as the power status as well. Now, down on the bottom, we have a single USB 3 port, and next to that, we've got a button. Now this button enables you to synchronize any USB device that you plug into it. So if you've got a USB key or fob for example, plug it in, press that button and it will sync the entire contents straight over onto your NAS device. We've also got a power button as well to the left of that. Now around on the back we've got the DC power input so the actual power is not built into the unit itself it does come with a power brick. We've also got some USB 2 ports, a reset button, a couple of gigabit LAN ports which can both be binded together and we've also got two USB 3 ports and an HDMI port. Now when you get going it's very very easy you simply plug it into the network put your drives in and go to start.qnap.com you put in a code and away you go you're very easily away and setting up the QNAP TS453. Now in order to put the drives in because this doesn't come with drives you'll need to clip off the top. Now the top is completely magnetic and then you can simply pull out the drive cases one by one and start populating them with the drive of your choice. Now when it comes to choice of drives the actual choice of drives that is available is quite vast so I would always go with something like a Western Digital Red. Now these are specifically built for NAS so they have a much longer longevity and they are just harder wearing in general. Now you've got a whole bunch of other drives out there but these ones really are the most renowned for this particular usage. Now you can clip these straight in the cage go away and put your screws in or in this case you've actually got some side clips which just save you putting screws in and you can just clip them straight in and then once you've done that you can then just repopulate the device by again flipping off that magnetic lid and just sliding the drives straight back in. Once you're done you can just clip the lid back on there's no clips or anything like that it just flies straight into position with that magnet on it so no worries about that. Now in addition to this, because it has that HDMI port, we can plug this directly into a TV or screen and use it as a PC as such or a media device. So they give us a really nice remote control to go with it that we can use rather than having a full blown keyboard. Now the actual interface itself, QNAP's interface is called QTS and it's essentially an entire operating system, a desktop operating system that enables you to configure the device, install applications and pretty much anything that you might require to do in and around the operating system itself. Now in here you can check out the system status for example, you can add and remove users, you can connect it to Active Directory for example. There really is an endless amount of things that you can do on the QTS operating system. It's vastly comprehensive but at the same time very very simple. Now we've also in here got the App Center. Now the App Center enables us to install any number of applications and as you can see here the list is absolutely phenomenal. There is absolutely dozens and dozens and dozens of applications that we can install from things like MySQL to WordPress to a whole range of different things and some of them are actually written and coded by QNAP themselves 
Now, a few of those that we can see here on the front screen, very, very useful indeed. To start off with, we have surveillance stations. So if you've got a number of webcams or cameras around your house or your work that you want to monitor and record all of the information from and be able to play that back and check out all of your CCTV requirements, this will do absolutely all of that for you. This has got motion detection. This has got every single bit of functionality that you might require for a fully fledged CCTV environment plus it's got an added bonus which is very very unique indeed there's an application for the phone called VCAM which I'll show you a little bit later on and that enables you to actually utilize your own phone as a web camera for the CCTV for surveillance stations so you can really play around with that and, and get some great results or you can connect it to a normal camera it really doesn't matter it's completely up to you now moving on to the rest of the operating system, we've got another application for example called FileStation. This is going to enable you to completely manipulate the file system. So if you want to create folders, copy files, check the properties of files, anything to do with files and folders can all be done within there. Now we've also got the ability to connect this directly up to the cloud. So for example if you wanted off-site backup with Amazon AWS, very very easy to do. Another inbuilt app, Photo Station, lets us store all of our photos and also gives us a really nice interface for viewing them either locally or over the web and you can even allow guests to access this as well. Video Station, exactly the same thing but for all of your videos and you can have it collect up all of the metadata for those and organise it all for you. A really nice solution for storing your photos and also your videos as well. Now in addition to this we've also got a similar facility for music so you can store all of your music on here and you can again access this over the network and also all of these can be accessed with the mobile applications as well and I'll come back to that a little bit later on when I demonstrate those to you. Now in here as well we've also got the hybrid station and this will allow us to manage all of the apps that are going to be available to us when we plug it in via the HDMI port. Now I'm going to come on to that right now, so let's go ahead and plug this into a TV and turn it on and see what we get on the screen. Now obviously immediately you see the BIOS as you would with the majority of any kind of machine and then once we've done that it boots straight into the operating system and we are presented with a login screen. So at this point you can log in as any of the users that you've created earlier on during the setup process, enter your password and then immediately you're into the QVPC environment. Now from here you've got a number of applications again, you can use the keyboard and mouse to navigate your way around, you've also got a whole bunch of settings as well which will enable you to set all of your preferences and all of your settings that you would like during this QVPC experience. Now let's take a look at some of the applications we've got on here. There really is a huge collection. Now first of all, let's start off with one of the most popular ones and that is obviously YouTube. Now this is going to give you a fully fledged GUI experience, so it's not the w typical web experience that you might get on a desktop machine. Very easy to navigate and also remote control friendly, so going to be extremely easy for you to just aim that included remote control at it and navigate your way through your favorite videos or I should say my Mr. Tybox ones who free videos. Now you've also got Chrome on here as well so if you want to navigate the interwebs you've got no problem doing that whatsoever. You've got a fully fledged Chrome browser and obviously all of the plugins and extras that you can put into that as well. If you want to manage the device you can obviously go straight back into QTS and, and manage that as well and there's even some games on here as well that you can get access to uh, should you want to. Now there's a couple of examples of those that we're running right here and indeed you can also go straight into surveillance station and connect up and look at all of your cameras as well directly from here all using QVPC which is very very unique and all again using that HDMI port that's built in. You can even run Xbox Media Center. Now let's take a look at some of the apps that we've got. These are both for Android and also for iOS. Inbuilt into here we've got a file management tool. So this is going to enable us to again completely manipulate the file system, move files around. We can even download files directly to our device as well and also monitor the speed in which they're coming down. 
We've also got Q Manager. Now, Q Manager gives us direct management over our TS453 Mini, or if you have got another device from QNAP, you can utilize it for that as well. It's not just explicit to this particular machine. You can turn on and off certain applications, you can install applications, you can check out the performance of your unit, loads and loads of management based things you can do from here. Now Q Music, this is going to enable you to get access back to your music just as we saw it earlier using the QTS web interface. With this you can just use it directly from your mobile device itself and get access to all of your music without having to worry about any kind of DRM issues or anything like that. Now the same goes for video as well. Now you can also set this up so it's available via the internet. I'm connecting to this locally at the moment so I'm doing it directly over the network. But if you want to open up the specific ports and use the wizard provided to you, very, very easy to give yourself internet based access to all of these functionalities and features. So you can play your videos in here and if you want to you can even go through and do a direct transcode as well. So if you want to play it at a certain resolution this will support up to five streams all transcoding to 1080p all in one go. Now you've got Q remote so if you don't want to use the physical hardware remote you can use a software remote if you want to. The advantage of this obviously you've got a keyboard built into it so if you do have any kind of text entry elements that you want to use then you can go ahead and do that quite easily. Now this is the app that I told you about earlier which gives you the functionality to use your phone as a webcam and connect it straight up to surveillance station. Very very easy to configure, you've got a whole bunch of functionality on here as well and it really is quite a nice little feature uh, from QMAP. Now if we want to check out all of our CCTV cameras we can use this application and we can go straight into this and we can check out all of our CCTV cameras that we've got connected back on the network or indeed we can go back and play back previous footage of our choice. So a very very comprehensive solution the QNAP TS453 Mini. This really will last you a whole number of years. You can store a ridiculous amount of data on it and it will go up to 220 megabytes per second read and write. So very, very fast indeed. And this one, 16 terabytes, all the storage you will ever need. Anyway, guys, if you want to buy this, I will leave links down in the video description as to where you can do so. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please do go ahead and hit that like button and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.